and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first time here hi I sure hope it won't be your last why don't you hit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the family what am I here to share with you today well the other day I got that big order that I showed you it was the one that said 120 um, dollars worth of Timu whatever I'll put the link it, it'll come up here but uh, one of the things that I got were were these magic highlighters and I showed you how those work in the video you color them one color and the other end has the clear part that activates it in it the ink changes color well today I am going to do a little doodle with those and um, I'm going to first put down the ink. I think I have paper in here, and if I don't, I apologize. I'll have to pause you and go get it. But I'm going to put down the layer of ink, and then I'm going to activate it with the... I do have. I'm going to activate it with the other end and make it turn some colors. You know, I'm going to do a zen, like a zen doodle. But I'm going to need to... Oops, that's got stuff there. That's going to... Hmm. I'm going to need to direct you down to the my table which is covered in stuff including kitty cats and we will do our doodle on here however uh yes there's cats in the way hang on hopefully you won't see too much of the mess on my desk my desk is a disaster now I don't have a top-down situation for my camera I'm gonna try to get that figured out eventually but right now I'm just gonna try to show you a quick doodle with these magic markers. I'm going to do it on a tile that I've made for Zentangling. And you can't see anyways because Bugatti is in the way. Huh. Well, we're going to have to make Mr. Bugatti unhappy and move him. He's not going to like it. Come here, sir. Can you move? Can you, can you scooch? Can you scooch so we can work? I, I'm going to try to keep this flat on this. I need to take a break long enough to actually move things around in here. But the point is I've been working and um, I've got this sitting on top of things that I need to put away. But that will take some time. So I'm trying to to just work. I'm going to um, put like some swatches of color down and then I'm going to draw with the white end and then over top of that I'm going to draw with a like micron pen and see how that goes. So first I'm going to as I said do some just swatching some color down. No not exactly any rhyme or reason to it and I'm gonna while I'm doing that I'm gonna think about you know things that I am grateful for like you got all of you guys and um, Timu and them sending me these supply these things for review and just for this beautiful day and the fact that it's starting to warm up and become spring outside things like that things i am grateful my kitty cats my husband my mom being here all the things my family in general all the things that i am happy for like i said i'm just for you know in no particular order no rhyme or reason i'm just watching some colors down because I'm just going to draw over them with the, you know, to make them change color. And then I'm going to draw over that with the black micron. Now this is just, this piece of paper is just regular old um, white cardstock. It's not, it's not anything particular, you know, of any kind of, it's not like a good piece of watercolor paper or anything like that so and I'm not thinking like I said not thinking of any sort of order or anything like that ahead of time I'm just picking up the collar and opening it up and scribbling on and laying some color down
not worrying about what, where, why, when, how, or even what I'm going to do yet. That's not, not something that I'm thinking about as I try to lay down these collars. Just locking it in. All right, so there we have it. And all of them have the same clear end, so I can use any of them. And since I have this one in my hand, this one's the one I'm gonna use. All right, what am I gonna start with? Well, let's start with some kind of floral pattern of some sort. Mm. Hello, you're in the way. No, in the way. In the way. And I did not turn on my lights. Let's do that real quick. That will probably help the situation. Get a little light on the subject. I'm, I apologize for that. All right. Let's see. What do we want to... Hmm. How about some... Mookas. And some... What are they called? Um... Oh, I can't think. I am not a certified Zentangle teacher. I wish I was. And some fescues. Fescues are my favorite. Put a orb there. Harder to see what you're drawing with this. Alright, some fescues and some. Alright, now we'll do some other kind of flower. Another one. And, and one down here, kind of hidden. And it kind of go kind of behind and off the. Now, let's do some kind of I don't know what it's called like a weave kind of thing I don't I'm not like I said I'm not a Zen Tangle teacher so I don't know I don't remember all the terms real well and I have memory loss problems anyways but we're just gonna do some stuff okay just to check out the pins and what they look like when you when you do something with them. Um... I hope that makes sense. Let's go down farther. Now we're gonna join them together. Like I said, in kind of a weave pattern. Not teaching you how to zentangle, just showing you what the pins do. I'm trying to do it fast so it's not going to be the best zentangle I ever did. 
I can show you some Zen Tangles. This is, like I said, just, we're just checking out these pens. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I, because I'm doing it with a pen that you can't see right away, I'm getting lost in my own, what I'm doing. It's kind of like invisible ink for a minute. It'll look better when I go over it again, maybe. Who knows? We're just playing. Maybe I'll do a big, um... Spiral, what are they called? It's like a print them when you first start. But I'm gonna do, um... Well, what's it called when you... Hmm... Just like that, it goes out of my mind. I knew when I was going to... I knew. And now the name was gone. You color on every other section. Sorry that my memory is just not good. I want to have plenty of area where we have the original color of the magic pen and then we also have the activated color or whatever you want to call it. I want to make sure we have plenty of uh, both of each color. So that's why I'm not doing the tangles real close together. Maybe put an aura around that. And around that. And to Whatever this little thing is where you do like three dots in a pattern. I don't know what it's called. But again, I'm just doing it to have more of the activated color. Alright, I'm going to go over it with the... Uh, also from Timu. I'm going to use one of these match pens, gel pens, and that's what I'm going to, instead of using a micron, I decided I'm going to use one of these to do the pen, the line work that I want to do, the, you know. Should have let this dry just a little bit. It's kind of wet. And that is causing the pen to not want to write as well. It's not the pen, it's the fact that the marker is wet. I've gone over the marker a couple times, you know. First with color, then with the activator, whatever, end, clear end. You gonna chew on it? Yeah, are you teething? Hmm, are you teething? Yeah, you want you everything. Like a baby that's teething. <laughs> Not the best pen for doing this because it's so short. It's making it a little awkward. But I'm just trying to do it in a big hurry to show you. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Should have done something else. What am I doing? This is horrible, folks. It's horrible. Boy, that's shaky. The lines are shaky. and Part of it's probably that I'm doing it on this piece of cardboard that is corrugated. So I'm hitting these bumps in the cardboard. The corrugated parts of the cardboard. And um, it's making my, my lines really shaky. And this pen being so um, small... It's not helping. 
but you get the gist. Oh goodness, I can't even follow my own lines. Um, this will be really neat on better paper and on a better surface. And um, I will try it and show you something in another video. Just, you know, hey, here this is. Because I should never have picked this pen. And I should have just cleared off my desk and had a flat surface rather than trying to do it on top of this piece of cardboard. But I wanted to just whip this out really quickly so we could see these pens in action. But I'm not showing them in their best light. And I apologize for that to you and to Timu. I'm not real proud of it, but I still put my chop on there. Put this pen away before I lose it. And that was, um, I don't know if you saw it, that's the 20 match pens. They look like a little, a little match. And the box looks like you can strike it and light it on fire, but they're blue gel pens. 20 of them. So plenty to pass around to people or to keep for yourself. I wouldn't try to draw with them. They're okay for writing with, but I wouldn't try to draw with them because they, they don't give you enough stability. And then we had the Magic Highlighters. I don't know where the packaging went. All right, here. I'll show you those, what they look like in the packaging, so that maybe you will recognize them when you see them. And, of course, the link will be in the description. These are real fun to play with. They're Magic Highlighters, and here is... Here is that not so great, but you know, you can see the different colors where it's been activated and not been activated, the bright and the light, and I've been tangled over it. So anyways, guys, tell me what you think, not of my artwork, but of the markers and the gel pens. And please give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching me and little baby Miss Orlean here. Remember, her name was Orlean because she came from New Orleans. She was rescued from New Orleans. Did I say thank you for watching and listening to me babble? Because we know I'm doing some babbling. And I'll see you. You can't see me. But I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Mwah. Bye, guys.